وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإذا شرح في الكتاب أخلاق حملة القرآن written by الإمام أبو بكر محمد بن الحسين الآدري رحمه الله We stopped at where the author رحمه الله said uh, وقال الله عز وجل الله تبارك وتعالى said يا أيها الناس أو oh people قد جاءكم it has come to you برهان من ربكم the word برهان من ربكم means ضياء light has come to you and this light of course is to shine the path for the people the believers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he guides them through the Quran that's what Allah said in another ayah وَكَذَلِكَ أُوحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانِ وَلَكِنْ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُورًا نَهْدِي بِهِ مَنَّ شَاءُ مِنْ عَبَادِنَا So Allah referred to the Quran as Nur Burhan the Quran is light it guides the path for you it shows you where you're walking towards my beloved brothers and sisters the brain is like the eyes the eyes can't see if there's no light on and the brain cannot vision and it cannot function if the revelation is not on that's very important we understand that uh, that example i gave the eyes can see of course they can see but they need light if, there's, if the place is not lit for you you won't be able to see and you won't be able to maneuver uh, from one point to another point the same applies with our rational mind your rational mind cannot move it cannot function if there's no revelation to guide it okay if the revelation doesn't guide it allah tabarak wa ta'ala says ya ayyuha an-nas o people qad ja'akum it has come to you burhan min rabbikum a light has come to you from your lord wa anzalna ilaykum and we have sent on to you nuran mubina a clear light has come to you a clear light has come to you fa amma alladhina amanu as for those who believe who do they believe amanu billahi they believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa atasamu bihi and they hold on to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa atasamu bihi means holding on to allah the word i'tisam it means sidq al luju' ilay it is to be truthful in turning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is to have complete reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to surrender your affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ponder here. I'tisam means to be truthful in turning to Allah. It means to completely rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means to surrender all of your affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is i'tisam. The Qur'an, and when we look at the Qur'an, and we ponder on the Qur'an, and we contemplate on the Qur'an, we come to realize that the Qur'an uses the word i'tisam in two ways. Okay? The first one is i'tisam billah, to hold on to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And i'tisam billah means to rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To surrender your affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you hear wa'atasamu bilhi, yani wa'atasamu billahi, holding on to, Allah, on to Allah means to rely on Him, to surrender your affairs to Him. And the second type is wa'atasamu bihablillah, holding on to what? The rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the one Allah used in Surah Al Imran where He says, wa'atasamu bihablillahi jami'an. وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ عَدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَةِ إِخْوَانًا وَكُنْتُمْ عَلَى شَفَى حُفْرَةٍ مِنَ النَّارِ فَأَنْقَذَكُمْ مِنْهَا إِلَى آخِرِ الْآيَةِ So Allah mentions here وَعَتَصِمُوا وَعَتَصِمُوا sorry وَعَتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ Hold on to the rope of Allah The rope of Allah is what? The Quran and the Sunnah The rope of Allah is the Quran and the Sunnah And that type of 
holding is the same one that the Prophet used in the hadith, which is uh, The hadith of Irbat uh, Ibn Sariya. Hold on to the Sunnah with your Mawla teeth. Hold on to it. So holding on to the Quran and the Sunnah. Those are the two types of holding that is mentioned. Those are the two types of i'tisam that I mentioned. And there is no success. There's no salvation for any one of us unless we come with those two types of i'tisam. The first one is i'tisam billah, to hold on to Allah. And that is by surrendering, surrendering our affairs to Him, play, relying on Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, having good thoughts of Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, Asking him for help. That's the first one. The second one, which is holding on to the rope of, rope of Allah. It's holding on to the Quran and the Sunnah. Success is for that. the Prophet وسلم, he said, I have left behind for you two things. As long as you are holding on to these two things, لَن تَضِلُّوا You will never be misguided. What is it? كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَسُنَّتِي Left behind the book of Allah and the Sunnah. If you hold on to them, you will never be lost. The people only become lost when they leave the Qur'an and when they leave the Sunnah. The author then, Rahimahullah, he mentioned the ayah and Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala went on to say in, فَسَيُدْخِلُهُمْ فِي رَحْمَةٍ مِّنْهُ Anyone who comes with اِعْتِصَامٌ بِاللَّهِ Allah will enter him into rahmah, mercy. Minhu from him. Wa fadlin, and Allah will bestow his virtue onto them. Wa yahdihim, and Allah will guide them. Where will he guide them to? Ila sirat, ilayhi salat al mustaqima. Allah will guide them to what? A straight path. The ayah tells us, فَسَيُدْخِلُهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ Allah will enter them into what? Fi rahmatin, mercy, wa fadlin, virtue, wa yahdihim. Allah will guide them subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have how many things? Rahma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fadl, virtue from Allah. Hidayah from Allah. Wa yahdihi. And Allah tabarak wa ta'ala will guide them. Wa yahdihim ilayhi salat al-mustaqimah. Allah will guide them to the straight path. Then the author rahimahullah brought the ayah which is Wa qala Allah azza wa jalla Allah says Wa a'tasimu bihabli allahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. And this is the second type of al-i'tisam which we mentioned. What does it mean? Hablullahi. The author says, Wahablullahi ta'ala huwa al Quran. The rope of Allah that we need to hold on to is the Quran. Is what? Is the Quran. And the person who said that, Wahablullahi ta'ala huwa al Quran is the Prophet. But Idarik al Imam Tirmidhi narrated in his Sunan, and Shaykh al Bani rahimahullah authenticated it, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said on the authority of Zayd ibn Arqam, that the Prophet said, Kitabullahi hablun mamdudun. The rope of Allah is a rope that's dangling for, for, for us. Min al sama is dangling from the sama. Ila al ardi to the earth. So the hadith here, what does it say? Kitabullahi, the book of Allah. Hablun is a rope. Mamdudun, extended. It's an extended rope. Min al sama from the sky. Ila al ardi to the earth. So this hadith shows us. Wa'atasimu. Wa'atasimu. Bihabli lai, that the Quran is the habl here. Because this hadith told us that the Quran is what? Hablun mamdudun min al sama'i ila al ard. Okay. Wa qala Allah Azza wa Jalla, the author, author brought the ayah, Allah nazzala ahsan al hadith kitaban mutashabihan mataniya taqshairu minhu juludu al-lazina yakshawna rabbahum, thumma talilu juluduhum wa quluubuhum ila dhikri lah. Thalika huda Allah, yahdi bihi man yashaa. وَمَنْ يُضْلِ لِلَّهُ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ هَادٍ The author brings the ayah Allah نَزَّلَ أَحْسَنَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that sent down Al-Hadithi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He sent down Hadith Hadith here is referring to the what? The Quran itself The Quran itself Speech The Quran is a speech from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speech um, it is the best in terms of wording and it's the best in terms of meaning. 
Allah sent it down subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kitaban, Allah sent it down as a book. This book is mutashabihan, it's mutashabih. The word at tashabuh uh, that we find that the Quran has been described in, the word at tashabuh is being used for the Quran. What is it? What is it? There are two types of tashabuh in the Quran, or the word mutashabih. One of those types we've already spoken about is the one in the beginning of Surah Al Imran, that type of mutashabih, we've already spoken about it. And that type of mutashabih was what? It was that the Quran, uh, there are some verses which are ambiguous and unclear and vague. So that's the tashabuh. That's a, a type that we've already spoken about. There's a second type of tashabuh that's been used. And it's the one that's used in this verse. Allah nazzal ahsan al hadith kitaban mutashabihan. This mutashabih, don't think to yourself, it's the same as the one that was used at the beginning of Surah Al Imran. It's not that one. It's another one. So, what is this one? This one is uh, that the Quran does not contradict itself. This mutashabihan here means that the Quran is a book that does not contradict itself. It's like the ayah where Allah says, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا That if this Quran was to come from other than Allah, you would have found a lot of contradictions in it. You see, this kitab mutashabihan is in support with that verse. I mean, the Quran does not contradict itself, rather it complements itself. You hear a story of Ibrahim here, you hear the same story here, and it's not contradicting itself. The story of Nabila and Moses mentioned here, and it's also mentioned here, it's not contradicting itself. You hear the story of Nabila Adam and Iblis in one surah, and you hear another surah, it's not contradicting itself. It's complementing itself. It's giving you maybe additional information here that it hasn't given you here, but it's not contradicting itself. So the Quran is mutashabi. So when you read it, the verses look alike, uh, but they're not contradicting. That's what Allah is saying. Allah nazzala ahsan al-hadithi. The Quran is the best of speech. Kitaban a book mutashabihan that does not contradict itself. Mathaniya. The Quran is a what? Mathaniya. What does Mathaniya mean? Mathaniya means the Quran, uh, it mentions stories multiple times. You see? The Quran mentions the stories multiple times. For example, you hear stories being repeated a couple of times uh, of the same incident. You even sometimes see that the commands are repeated. Waqimus Salah has been mentioned multiple places in the Quran. You hear that uh, prohibitions have been repeated in multiple places. The descriptions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wallahu Ghafurur Rahim, has been mentioned in multiple places in the Quran. So that's what the word Mathaniya means. Mathaniya means يعني تثنى فيه comes many times تخشع ابو منه جلود الذين يخشون ربهم the Quran there are in it warnings تخشع ابو منه جلود الذين يخشون ربهم means that the, the the people of iman their hearts and mind and their body trembles يعني there are verses which are وعيد warnings and those warnings they get affected by it the believers it scares them ثم تلين جلودهم وقلوبهم الى ذكر الله and this is referring to that there are verses which their hearts and their minds find in them hope which then pushes them to the remembrance of Allah يعني the Quran has fear and it has hope in it نبع عبادي اني ان الغفور الرحيم وان عذابي هو العذاب الاليم سنا ذكرها أما نبع عبادي أني أنا الغفور الرحيم وأن عذابي هو العذاب الأليم. Inform my slaves that I'm very merciful, but also inform them that my punishment is severe. The two. غافر الذنب وقابل الشديد. غافر الذنب. He forgives the sins and the shortcomings of the people. And he's also what? شديد العقاب الطويل. Allah تبارك وتعالى is severe in his punishments. يعني the Quran is like that. You find fear and you find hope. And the believers are like that. 
انهم كانوا يسارعون في الخيرات ويدعوننا رغبا ورهبا وكانوا لنا خاشعين fear and hope so this is the quran ذلك هدى الله this is the guidance of your lord يهدي به من يشاء الله guides with it من يشاء whoever he will سبحانه وتعالى ومن يضلل الله يعني whoever الله تبارك وتعالى misguides فما له من هاد he has no one to guide him Brothers and sisters, guidance is a gift Allah gives. Allah chooses who He wants to guide. If you are guided, it's a blessing that Allah Taala bestows upon His creation. And to be misguided is a destruction. And if Allah misguides anybody, na, it's His justice. And if He guides anyone, na, it's His virtue. Subhanahu wa Taala. وقال الله عز وجل الله تبارك وتعالى also said. كتاب أنزلناه إليك a book that we have sent down onto you Muhammad مبارك this book is مبارك مبارك here means what عظيم البركة this book is filled with بركة blessings يعني there is a lot of خير there is a lot of فوائد benefits that are in this book in this book is صلاح العباد the success and the prosperity of the creation is in this book for their worldly affairs and their hereafter affairs all of it it has in it so that's why it's a kitabun mubarak. It's a book filled with baraka. Kitabun anzalahu ilayka mubarakun. Liyadabbaru ayatihi So you can ponder over those verses. The ayat are two types. There are ayat kawniya, the universal signs, and there are also uh, ayat which are shar'iya. Ayat shar'iya are the uh, Quran and the sunnah. Pondering over it. The ayat shari'a is the Quran and the Sunnah, pondering over it and thinking over it and extracting rulings from it. Both of those Allah praised. The ones who ponder over the universal signs. In fi khalqi samawati wal ardi wa ikhtilaf al layl wal nahari la ayat li uli al albab. Alladhi na yadkuruna Allah qiyaman wa qu'udan wa ala junubihim wa yatafakkaruna fi khalqi samawati wal ardi. Rabbana ma khalaqta hadha baatila subhanaka faqina adhab al nar. And they look at the universal signs and they ponder over it and they contemplate. They look at the sky and they say, who's holding the sky up? There's no pillars holding it. There's no pillars holding the sky. Who's holding this? Allah. Ajeeb. Every building needs someone to hold it. But the sky, no one's holding We can't see anyone holding it. Allah is holding it. Subhanallah. So they ponder over this. They look at the ocean and the sea and the way it looks. How big they are from the creations of Allah. How small we are. And then he asks himself, does Allah really need us? No, he doesn't. He has all of these mountains and he has these creations, beautiful creation. SubhanAllah, recently I was reading how when the coronavirus or the COVID-19 took place, how the world now regenerated itself and SubhanAllah, how it regained its greenery. And the, the uh, what's it called? The, uh, the, the ozo layer and how it cured itself and it, re it healed itself and subhanAllah so many things and how all of this universe is becoming beautiful and every the believer ponders over these things that he sees subhanAllah the, everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created it indicates him points towards him everything everything there's a sign showing that Allah is one subhanahu wa ta'ala so the believers, they ponder on the universal signs and they ponder also on the shar'i things as well. Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka, a book we have set down. Mubarakun filled with baraka. Liyadabbaru ayati, so you can ponder on these Qur'an. You can ponder and you can think of it. Waliyatadhakkara ulul albab. And the people of intellects. Ulul albab are ahl. The word albab means ahlul uqul al-rajiha. People who are smart, clever. They're the ones who are going to take lessons from this. They are the ones who are going to benefit from it. They ponder over the Quran and they benefit from it. Also, the author, rahimahullah, he brought the ayah where Allah wa Taala said, وَكَذَلِكَ and like that. أَنزَلْنَاهُ We sent down. Quranan We sent down the Quran. Arabiyan The Quran was sent down in the Arabic language. The Quran is the book of every Muslim. Alisa كَذَلِكَ Is that not the case? Isn't the Quran not the book of every Muslim? Yes, it is. What language is the Qur'an in? The Qur'an is in the Arabic language. Then the Arabic language becomes the language of every Muslim. 
It's important you understand that. The Arabic language is the language of every Muslim. Your country's language is a second language for you. So if you're a Somali, the Somali language is the second language. Your first language is the Arabic language. You're a Muslim, right? Sah, you're a Muslim. If you're a, 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 a Hindu who came into Islam, your, your language, your local dialect or the, the language of your country is the second language. The Arabic language now becomes your first language. You're a Swedish who came into Islam. The Swedish language becomes your second language. Your first language becomes the Arabic language. Yani the minute you become a Muslim, you are, you now have a new religion, you have a new language, and you have a new book. You have a new prophet. This is everything is like that. And that's why Allah says, وَكَذَلِكَ and like that, and then now we send down the Quran, Arabian in the Arabic language. وَصَرَّفْنَا فِيهِ مِنَ الْوَعِيدِ And in this Quran, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, what does he say? وَصَرَّفْنَا he means Allah, he said, we changed. The methods in how we tell the warnings. The Quran has warnings in it. If you do this, this is going to happen to you. If you do this, this is going to happen to you. But it doesn't always do it in that method. Sometimes it says it in this way. Sometimes it says it in that way. Sometimes it says it in this way. In it, we tossed and we turned the methods that we used uh, to convey these warnings. And this teaches us as well, which is, the way that you want to approach a matter, sometimes you have to ponder on the way you say it and the way you address it. Why did we do all of that? Allah Ta'ala tells us, وَصَرَّفْنَا فِيهِ مِنَ الْوَعِيدِ Why did we do that? لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَّقُونَ So they can attain taqwa from this. So they can take taqwa from this. أَوْ يُحْدِثُ لَهُمْ ذِكْرَى Or it changes their situation and it reminds them of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it makes them steadfast on his obedience. That's why we changed the approaches in uh, the approach in which we mentioned those warnings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. I'm going to stop there inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and Shaytan and Allah and his messenger are free from it. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik ashadu la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka tubilih. Assalamu alaikum. If you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to keep up to date with all of the courses we're going to be running, make sure you head over to amauathome.com.